So for the record, I tried to flip the image on the right, but then the word was reversed, so it didn't look just right. So uh, it is supposed to be pointing at me, just in case you're wondering. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, your favorite online hypocrite, and we are gonna talk about that. But hey, before we do, if you happen to really like this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification, because hey, you know the thing about hypocrites, you have to subscribe to them and watch all their videos so you can gripe a moan about them later. So anyway, I did a video uh, a few days ago, a week ago, I don't know, I'm actually filming a few videos today, so who knows when this is actually gonna go up, where I discussed that me and Dark Road Run were right about maybe buying Uber stock before the election because we predicted correctly, I want to add, that if Prop 22 passed, Uber and Lyft stock would be taking a, not a, well, no, not a hit. It would be jumped. You bumped, it would pop, whatever term you want to use, you would probably make some money, and lo and behold, we were right. And I actually made a video about that called, We Were Right, You Should Have Bought Uber Stock. Now, the funny thing about this video is in the video, I mentioned that I myself did not buy Uber Stock. I, I explained why I didn't, uh, even though I knew intellectually it would probably be a good business move. Be and I didn't buy Ubersoft because I didn't want to be a hypocrite to be voting no on Prop 22 and speaking out against it, but then privately buying stock. But just the fact that I had the thought, you know, meant I was a hypocrite. Because that's what the world comes to. When you think something, you are automatically a hi hypocrite. And I guess by this same logic, if you get mad at someone and you think about punching them in the face, which we have all thought about that at some point in time, well... That means that it is the exact same thing as actually punching that person in the face, right? My goodness, we're still talking about this topic. So you know what? Fine, I've ignored this long enough. You know what? Let's actually go. You see this? Videos like this? The entrepreneur is hypocritical and scammer. I'm going to actually address this. I think it's about time that we, um, you know, here's the funny thing, folks. I really don't care. <laughs> I mean... I'm definitely putting forward the emotion and everything, but I do not care. You want to call me a hypocrite, that's fine. But you know what? I don't care anymore. I really don't. You know, I think I'm pretty consistent with my views. You think I am think that's not the case? Okay, that's fine, but I don't really want to spend any more time on this. What do I want to spend my time on? Oh, I posted some new things up. I posted some wedding pictures and uh, a new autographed pi picture. Uh, let, let's Let's take a look at that real quick. So this photo up here, this signed picture, is of Bill Farmer, Jason Marsden, and uh, I believe Bill Irwin, who's the new voice of Mickey. This was a wedding gift from my friends Zach and Elizabeth. Now, there was a little mistake. They accidentally put Elizabeth's name on there, but that's fine. I, I knew the thought, it was a thought that matters, and I, I will always remember them as giving that gift. We also hung up our wedding photos. This is Katie with our nieces. And, you know, here's the thing. We had like a Disney-themed wedding, and it was Disney-themed in very subtle ways. We had three flower girls, and the flower girls were colored after the three good fairies in Sleeping Beauty. So as you can see, one's green, one's blue, and one's red. One of the few pictures you will see of me laughing, I... I look so weird when I laugh. Um, I think this was a staged laugh, but I don't care. It's kind of cute, so we left it there. And as most of you know, we actually got engaged at Penn and Teller's show in Vegas. So there's Penn and Teller. They are actually part of the wedding photos thing. And I bet you there's not a lot of houses that you go to where the wedding photos actually have celebrities in them. Uh, by the way, one more thing about this uh, Penn and Tell this Teller photo. I love how there's that lady who's photobombing the photo behind us. Uh, I don't know if she ever sees this, but uh, me and my wife actually think that's kind of cute. And there's like a sweet picture of my wife's mom kissing her, you know, one of those wonderful mother-daughter moments. Another one where we're smiling. I think this one's a little bit more genuine than the other one. After we got married, of course, that was a moment to celebrate. 
our nephews were also part of the wedding, and if you want to know what their Disney theme was, they are R2-D2 and C-3PO. See, we're kind of clever that way. And at the bottom, you can see, here is our engagement photos. One of them was this black and white photo in front of the very colorful Mickey's Fun Wheel. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, it also looked good in color, but I really like the black and white effect. And, of course, they lived happily ever after. This was Disney's animation building in California Adventure. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that little diversion. Um, yeah, we're going to try to do more positive things like that. Anyway, uh, what did you think of the photos and everything? I'd love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.